The history of Rio dates back to the mid-1500s when the Portuguese founded the city. It's famous for Carnival, Ana Novo, which is New Year's Eve, Bossa Nova music, and the Samba, and of course, the girl from Ipanema. But one of the biggest icons in Rio is a building. It's a building that has seen more celebrities and politicians and royalty than you can possibly imagine, the Belmont Copacabana Palace. So I wanted to learn more about the Copa. So I turned to the general manager, Andrea Natal. So the hotel was built in 1923. So the president of the Republic uh, asked Otavio Guinli, uh, who had already a hotel downtown, a famous hotelier, to build a hotel for the celebration of the centenary of the independence of Brazil. Rio is this mega city on the coast where motorcycles meet Range Rovers, where high heels meet flip flops, where suits meet sungas. A true cultural dichotomy and a climate conducive to a laid back lifestyle. So there's so many things to do to see, you just gotta turn to the expert, the local, the concierge. Well, um, I was actually born and raised in Rio, right. uh, not far away from the hotel uh, in Leblon. Okay. Um, so I'm a Carioca, born and raised in town. And so that's Carioca de Gemma. Carioca da Gemma, yes. The yolk of the egg. Is that right? <laughs> exactly, yes. Okay. Well, weather impacts our lives every day, but in the hotel business, everyone is keeping their eye on the sky. The weather really doesn't change much through the year in Rio. Average highs and lows only vary by like 10 degrees, but November through March, things really heat up. The humidity levels rise, and that's when Rio comes alive. But how does it impact the people? You have to be looking at weather all the time. All the time. Well, that's a major um, thing in our job. The weather is constantly changing in Rio. So uh, we always need to uh, reschedule something. I mean, the guests going to the Corcovado, but the rain is coming. So what's he going to do next? Uh, but Rio provides uh, such uh, different activities. So uh, that's a good thing to be a, a concierge in Rio. I love my job. Uh, I love to be here. I live in the hotel and uh, I think we are very special because we are, we are well located. We have enough space. We are an iconic building. We are not like any other buildings, like we are not a, only a tower. Uh, once you get in the, lo in the lobby, into the lobby and then in the pool area, you feel like you could be not only in Rio, but you could be in any place that reminds you a paradise. Because you feel like disconnect and you feel peace, you feel safe, you feel loved. This property, as you mentioned, has a lot of uh, history. A lot of very important people stayed here, uh, Hollywood star since the beginning, so it's got a very uh, important connection with uh, the US and uh, vast Hollywood stars. Right. Uh, you'd be happy to see them in the Hall of Fame. So that's right. that's a cool place to be. Right. 93 years of history and working very well. It's a, an icon here in, in Brazil. I have a really good idea. I think what you need is an on-staff meteorologist. <laughs> Are you applying yourself? I'm applying, yes. <laughs> I'm submitting my application, effective okay. right now. So there you have it. 93 years, 33,976 days, or 4,854 weeks since its opening. Can you imagine being a fly on these walls? Princess Diana, Walt Disney, the Rolling Stones, Elton John, Michael Jackson. I mean, the list is endless and it just keeps going on. So many stories, so much history centered in the heart of Copacabana, centered in the heart of Rio, and centered in the heart of the people of Rio. The people of Rio that have kept this place going all these years. That is the real Rio. I'm meteorologist Chuck Heber.